Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a quick video on the Keurig K-Duo coffee maker. So this does K-cups, single, single serve K-cups, and brews a pot of coffee. But around the back here we've got a water reservoir, and we can install a water filter in that reservoir to filter our water. These machines do not come with a water filter, you have to buy it extra. These cost about $14. I'm going to put a link in the description of where you can get it. This is called the Short Handle, the Keurig Short Handle Water Filter Starter Kit. It comes with two carbon water filters, and this is what it looks like. Now, the carbon water filters, there's a little bit, they come in a package, and there's a little bit of prep work we got to do before we install it in the K-Duo. So I'm going to show you the, the prep work, and then we're going to install it. Okay, so you can buy extra water filters. They come in a box. They come in a package of two. You're supposed to replace them every two months, so that this will last four months. They come individually wrapped. Now, there is a little bit of prep work before you install it in your Keurig. You're going to want to open it up. Now, these are carbon filters, and that's filled with carbon. So you want to let it soak, it says, for five minutes. And your water is going to turn like a... Um, kind of like a gray but you can see there's even some little bitty particles floating around in there but my water is definitely turning a, a light gray that's that carbon dust and there's even little bitty particles I wasn't expecting all the little bitty particles but there's some of that carbon dust coming out but let it soak for five minutes after we let it soak for five minutes, then we're gonna rinse it under the water for a minute. Okay, so it's been five minutes. You can see why it's important to let this soak for five minutes. There's quite a bit of carbon dust that's gonna come off the filter. Now I'm gonna go rinse it under the water. So now we're ready to install it in the Keurig holder. You're gonna, there's, a, there's a flat part here. The flat part's going to go down towards that way. And there's a curved part. So the curved part kind of goes into where the handle is. Then it's going to sit flush. Then you're going to just line up these and they should snap. That's how you install, install the, the water filter in the holder. So it says these water filters help remove water impurities and enhance beverage taste. I know one of the things they do is if you're if you can smell chlorine in your water really bad um, these do help remove chlorine in your water. Okay now that we've got our filter ready to go around the back is the water reservoir. So that little black thing down there that is not a filter but that's the intake. That's how the water goes into the Keurig machine for both sides the K-cup side and the coffee maker side. So again, we got the short handle. We're just gonna snap it on. Make sure it snaps. If it doesn't snap on, like if you just set it there, it will float and the water won't go through it before it goes in the Keurig machine. If you snap it on, then the water has to go through the filter before it gets into the machine. And since it's the short handle, we've got plenty of room to put the lid on. So you should change these about every two months. And again, you keep the handle, all you're gonna be changing is that carbon filter inside there. Thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.